Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. How are you doing? Hey, my baby, how are you? Welcome to Mocha Love Tarot. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. I would like to thank everyone for all their likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I love you guys to pieces. Thank you for coming, and thank you for just being so supportive, uplifting, and I got some news to bring to y'all, and it's 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 real live news, and it doesn't mean, because, you know, we family regardless, but just blame it on my drunk ass mom. Look, you know that. She she told me once that I was born at 6.35 a.m., right? Or 6.35 p.m., something. So I think it was a.m. And my daddy just come through bus through and was like, no, she was born down there at 7 at night. It was 6.53 p.m. And so I, me, I, my, nosy, my nosy ass would Google it. I Googled it. You understand? Because, you know, you can go find the public records for the free. So I go Google it, 6.53 p.m. My daddy knew that he, somebody wasn't damn drunk, okay? Something, look. So I go look it up, and unfortunately, I'm not an Aquarius moon, y'all. I'm a Pisces moon. Now I understand why I'm so damn intuitive. <laughs> and I am a Libra rising, not an Aries rising. So gang gang gonna be upset too. But guess what? We still not found my Leo, so fuck it. Two tears in the bucket, fuck it. But I fucks with y'all though, okay? So this is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Cross Watchers for the for, from the first of June to the fifteenth, two thousand eighteen. Look at me on time, y'all been peeping my y'all been peeping me on time. Y'all fuck, I know y'all fuck with me on time now. You know, time disappears again. You know, somebody just send me an email and you know don't make it too mean and too snappy and. You know, because y'all know I give shout outs, okay? <laughs> so let's get into it. If you, uh, this is general. So if you need a personal reading, um, all of that information can be found in the description and I am available to do your personal readings. I have a turnaround time of between really 12 to 24 hours. So I get right to it. I try and schedule. You hit me today. I'll be really trying to push for scheduling you either today if you're going to pay for the same day and or tomorrow. Okay? Because I don't believe in that five, seven day out. I, if you need to know, we need to know now. What's the point in waiting five to seven days if you need to know now? Like, how you know I need to know tomorrow, girl? Or like, yeah, so hit me up. I'm your girl. All right? Let's rock. This is for Aquarius. And the moon rising and cross watch spirit. Please give me the messages for Aquarius from from the first to mid month June. Hmm. Okay. What are y'all creating? What y'all working on? Oh, kids with Sagittarius, huh? My Taurus. Y'all hanging on in there with all this damn major icon of Father Night Aquarius. Y'all got it going on right now in your lives, right? Reciprocity. Okay. Somebody hanging in there, hanging on in there, trusting they in the wish and knowing they gonna know. Y'all, y'all really got all major arcana. This is creepy. Aquarius, y'all got real live beautiful. I see pain and pleasure in this thing, but mostly pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Aquarius. Hold on. Y'all know I'm on you. Hold on. And the Y'all know I'm finna spill tea. Oh. Okay. I told you, God. Somebody who you dealing with ain't gonna be able to bask in your pleasure. You already you, you already know it. Aquarius. Let's get it. Baby. You got one more fight, Aquarius. One more fight in you, baby. Keep pushing. Keep going. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Keep going, baby. You finna put it down. You understand? You finna put them burdens right the fuck. You finna put it down. You finna put it down with all this fire behind you. Put it down. Some of y'all could be, you could have an Aries Leo Sagittarius at the root of your damn burdens, okay? Some of y'all is an Aries, all right? Some of y'all could also be, um, Finding out that you could be pregnant by an Aries, or this could go or Aries pregnant by you or Taurus, okay? Um, but I, that's how that's how I would call it. Then it's Aries, all right? I do see some of y'all are in introspection mode, and that's causing a little burden. I feel like these burdens are internal or mental burdens, okay? Some of them could be physical as well, but I feel like y'all are y'all are physically, mentally, emotionally tired. Y'all like a lot of y'all in introspection mode. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, I feel like some of y'all could also be um, trying to create something with an either a Virgo or a Sagittarius and some of y'all in y'all head about it. Some of y'all 
or sticking in there and being loyal and still keep you holding on to your passion of what it is that you're trying to create, whether it be a business, a relationship, a baby, whatever it is, you sticking in there. And it has you in introspection mode, however, okay? I feel like there is something that you need to know regarding what you're doing, or you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. However, there are some secrets. You could also be dealing with the Scorpio. I do see that there is issues. Some of y'all are hanging in relationships. You're trying to create something, and some of y'all are in y'all head feeling burdened and kind of introspection. I feel, I feel like if this is having to do with finances, it's because I feel like your job is, is just not enough. But somebody is just not enough in finances where you are as far as what you're doing right now is not enough. But what you want to create, what it is, what business you're trying to get off the ground, I feel like you're needing more information. You're hanging in there, but you're needing more information to make it enough. But I feel like if y'all, if y'all are doing anything having to do with working with your hands, if you're doing anything having to do with, um, like maybe some of y'all are coming to YouTube, for example, with uh, like tarot readings and things of that nature, right? I feel like for some of y'all, you may see, you may be discouraged, even though, you know, you don't know that your work is really inspiring others and that it's going to grow. It's really going to prosper between the first and the 15th. What you're doing, it is going to grow. However, I feel like you feel like it's not enough money or maybe you're needing enough, you're needing more money to push that. I feel like if this is having to do with the relationship, um, and, and, and that is going to be that money is going to be coming to you, so you can drop these burdens from the first to the fifteenth. It, it's looking good, baby. Hold on, just 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 hold tight, hold on to what you got, okay? I feel like if you're dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, but a strong emphasis on Virgo and Taurus, they in the building. I feel like um, this person, some of y'all are making a judgment call and making a decision, and some of y'all knowing. I want to move on, but you're hanging in there with this person, with this earth sign. Could be a Saggy, could be a Pisces, could be a Aries, could be a Virgo, could be uh, this Taurus Virgo. I feel, uh, I'm sorry, I said that Taurus Virgo, but I feel like this person, you're needing, it, it, I feel like y'all having reciprocity issues. It's an issue around reciprocity. I feel like this person is... Either I feel like this person is holding on to money. You're going to find out that somebody has been holding on to money from you, okay? Or it's just issues with give and take when it comes to financial matters. I feel like you're giving more than this person, and this person is giving. The only thing they're giving is some control and shit. They're trying to hold on, but they don't want to change nothing. And a lot of y'all going to make a judgment call on that shit from the 1st to the 15th. Some of y'all are going to express yourself. Some of y'all, if this is a, simply a situation where you're hanging in there and you keep it to yourself, you keep it inside, but you ain't said nothing. But some of y'all, you have new money, new everything coming to you, but you don't have to cut somebody out. But some of y'all, y'all could be cutting off a Sagittarius, but somebody finna get cut off. I feel like you've been defensive towards this person, or this person has been defensive towards you, even though you, and I feel like it's, if, if it's been defensive, it's because someone's in their head about, because they know they have to make this judgment call. You It's time to get out, get out your head and get on your feet at this point, and... You being defensive, I feel like you're coming off defensive towards these people because you're just really tired. But it's time for you to express yourself about being tired because up underneath this nine of uh, this nine of uh, wands is the wheel of fortune. So that 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 little that little stage of not communicating this shit or you not getting communication from someone who maybe feels like this towards you, Aquarius, that shit's finna end. New karmic cycle. Folks finna get out of this non clip that you, you finna get out of this no clarity mode, okay? So let's get some clarifiers. And for some of y'all, it's definitely a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And I feel like some of y'all know that somebody, you feel like somebody hiding money from you, that this is an earth sign, and you finna find out they got look, they got big money while they ain't giving and taking. It's a it's a choice. So you finna blow the whistle on that shit, okay? Let's get it, Aquarius. Y'all got all major arcana. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven major arcana out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nineteen, eleven. It's twelve cards on the board. It's most seven of them are major arcana. The last one at the base now, I'm not pulling no more from this deck, is the King of Swords. So yeah. It's it's it, it's time to go ahead and cut the chase, cut to the bullshit. Let's get it. Let's cut the bullshit. Alright. Spirit, please clarify. The Empress for my Aquarius. Yes, the Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all 
are going to possibly get a new offer or going to going to be receiving new offers to go into something new to create something to be a part of a team on like some ball shit okay possibly from an earth sign a younger earth sign or let's say Taurus or it could be an Aries okay Spirit, please clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Yes, y'all are in introspection mode, possibly about a Sagittarius, okay? Y'all going within. You're going within, trying to shed light on the situation. What is my intuition? What does, what, what does my higher self feel? What, do, what, what is truly the truth? You're going within to find the truth. You're not waiting on this person to communicate. You're going to be the one to communicate, Aquarius. Spirit, please clarify the moon card for me. Or the sign of Aquarius, three of rods, yeah. So some of y'all in y'all head, yes, I feel like some of y'all feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person has secrets, and y'all gonna turn y'all. Some of y'all are already in y'all head. I feel like a lot of y'all have already left mentally. Now your body's gonna follow, okay? A lot of people, a lot of y'all, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces or a fire sign or a Scorpio, some of y'all have already mentally checked the fuck out. You already mentally waiting on your shift to come in. You finna hit the go, okay? Clarify this six of pentacles spirit. Yes, you're feeling burdened because you're not you're not receiving equal give and take. There's no equal give and take in this relationship. And if you're dealing with a you could be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag or uh Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I feel like you're feeling financially burdened by this person. Spirit, please clarify the will of fortune, the will of fortune for Aquarius. What is this will of fortune? Yes, it's time to it's time. To come up off this defensive energy. You don't have to stand like this if you buy your damn self. Bye, Felicia. Nobody got time for that. It's time to communicate that shit. You're going to get right or you're going to get gone. And the funny thing is, is after this king of swords lays the ten of pentacles, okay? Lays, it lies the ten of pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all want to move on possibly from an earth sign to an Aries, okay? And y'all finna get y'all a chance to do it because guess who up under this ten of pentacles? The emperor. Some of y'all, y'all finna get the chance to do it. You're gonna get the chance. Once you drop them burdens, you drop that you drop their burdens, you pick up your blessing. Okay. Spirit, please clarify this hermit card. Two fail. I'm gonna take them both. King of Swords, yeah. A lot of y'all in y'all, a lot of y'all in y'all head. A lot of y'all have been watching the shit out of this person and you have somebody stalking the hell out of you. If it's, it's if you're dealing with another Gemini League or Aquarius, I feel like they stalking the hell out of you. Okay, they could be stalking you because they have some type of attachment to yourself and the Virgo. You finna find that out, but you're gonna get some cutting communication about it. But you're gonna find out possibly from a stalker if this is a if this is people, okay? The sun. Please clarify the sun card. Yep, the chariot. But some of y'all, some of y'all have somebody on their way to you to renew. Some of y'all got some new new on the way to you. Okay, and it's on the way fast. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all could be going into a new relationship with the council. That could be your blessing, but I feel like if this is communication, this is fast communication. Okay, this is fast communication that's going to bring you balance. It's going to bring balance toward, you know, towards your life once you cut this person off, I feel. This is somebody being cut off here. Somebody blowing a whistle. You blowing a whistle on some shit, Aquarius. I'm proud of you. That's right. Get her done. Judgment. Let's clarify this judgment card. Okay, all right. Yeah, judgment. Look, I'm going to go ahead and take this ace of pentacles. I'm going to take this what the divine got for me. You offering me you offering me some paid shit. I'm going to offer. The divine is offering me a whole ace, a whole new start over, a whole new beginning. You got the sun card with the ace of pentacles on top of the judgment. The judge, Make a judgment. Cut that shit off and walk into your chain. Walk into your blessings. Walk into new abundance. Walk into the walk into the new new. If this is a job situation that's being cut off, you making a decision on that shit. Bye, Felicia. I'm finna go start my own shit. I'm finna be my own boss and I'm gonna be prosperous in it. Oh my goodness. Yes. And it's funny, I was finna ask to clarify and what I got was the Empress on top of the four pentacles. Okay? So yeah, some of y'all are trying to hold on to what you got with knowing that you want to move forward and create. For some of y'all, y'all trying to y'all got an earth sign holding on to you, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and you want to be with a damn strong emphasis on the Taurus, and you want to move forward with an Aries. Some of y'all feel mentally trapped, or if you're dealing with a uh, air sign, this person could feel like that towards you. King of Rods, no. Some of y'all feel mentally trapped regarding the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What the hell do you want to do? What we going to do? I know I want you. My mind, my body is with you, okay? My body belongs to you, but my mind is stuck on 
what what I'm comfortable with. But I, I feel like I'm going to cut some shit out because I'm tired of being burdened. I'm tired of being mentally destroyed. Yep, that's the tower. The tower is. The tower fell on top of the five of swords. Somebody's getting cut the fuck out. Truth and clarity is going to be had. Somebody cut into the bullshit and it's time to deal. All right. Please clarify this seven of wands. The seven of wands for my Aquarius. Yeah. You're defensive. Somebody else is possibly will be defensive towards you. This is an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They're being defensive towards you because you finna cut their ass off. They're feeling left out in the cold, but they're going to come at you with defensiveness. They're going to bring... They're going to bring some ugly ugliness to you, okay? And it's meant for you to turn around and be like, oh, you mad? <laughs> you big mad or little mad? I don't give a damn because I'm going to move on. When I turn my back, I ain't got to look at your mad ass. No way. So uh, bye, Fifi. Bye, Frank. Right. Frank is Fifi, brother. Yep. It's funny because it's same shit. All right. I got to put this down so I can show y'all. Did I remember I told you, you're burdened. I got one card to clarify, but two fail. Drop your burdens. This is your burden. The toxic shit. Possibly a Capricorn, okay? This is your burden. I am burdened by you. Or if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, you are, get, you are toxic as fuck. So you drop your burdens, and you get your ten of pentacles. Drop your burdens. Drop that zero. <laughs> Go get you a hero. <laughs> yes. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of y'all, for some of y'all, it is a karmic soulmate. Or for some of y'all, it is a soulmate. For some of y'all, this is communication and dropping the way that you're doing things. Stop stop being so damn nice. Communicate how you feel. Say it with your goddamn chest. For some of y'all, this King of Pentacles is your soulmate. That is, yo, yo, that, look, that is. The uh the yin to your yang, but you gotta stand up for yourself because if you don't, this person gonna walk all over your ass. You better stand with your chest, all right. If this is not you walking away and not cutting, this is cutting out the way that you do things. Okay, share with me, share. You see me fucking sitting up here struggling, and if if you don't let nobody stick around your ass and watch you struggle, that's bullshit. You understand? I don't know who that's for. Don't let nobody stick around you and watch you struggle. Kick their ass. You can do bad by your damn self. Don't make me mad. I'm finna get a bill. Kick their ass to the curb. You can do bad by your damn self. Funny that I said that on top of the, at the bottom of this deck and at the bottom of this one now again is that Ten of Pentacles, right? But you gotta cut somebody off in order to get there. Cut them off. Oh, bless me. You better make... When people say... That, and I'm funny because up underneath this card is the death card walking away. Some of y'all cutting off a Scorpio. Walk the fuck away. Anybody got time for that? Walk the fuck away. Cut them off. Cut them out. Fuck being nice. That nice shit dead. Pimpin' ain't dead. Just move to the web. Y'all want to, somebody, somebody gonna tell y'all some shit online. Some of y'all, I told y'all, some of y'all got a stalker. Especially if you're dealing with a Virgo, they got an air sign, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be your ass stalking and find what you're looking for on the internet and you want to communicate that shit. Like, look at what I got. Screen, screenshot, screenshot anonymous, okay? Nobody got time. Aquarius, stand up for yourself. All right, if you need a personal reading, please hit me. I am not booked. I will mocha. Usually, I try to. I told everybody, I try to schedule um schedule you out a day, either you know a day ahead. I don't do all of that. Well, four or five days. No, I don't got time for that. I like to get to it. I'm an Aries. If you ain't paying for no same day, that's fine. What you got tomorrow? What you got available? I work around you because everybody has different times. So if my slide is open, I usually I ask what do you have available. So if you need a personal reading, please hit me up. I have three different sites. I'm even uh look, I'm even uh what they call that shit. I'm recession friendly. Okay, I'm recession. <laughs> I got ten dollar readings. I got twenty twenty five. Just hit me up. I got you. But yeah, we gonna you need to get to the bottom of this shit because I want the tea. Y'all comment, like, share, and subscribe. But comment. So I can, what is going on, honey? Drop this shit, all right? Drop this shit, stop this shit. Bye, Fifi, bye, Frank. Walk into your blessings, honey. This is general, all right? It's not for everybody. It may not resonate with everybody, but if it does, come in, let me know. I will see y'all again mid-June. I love y'all, booze. Mwah.